Hello everyone, this is Zero Dawson. Rider and Dawson, and we're back for more of our Let's Play of Sonic Colors. Now you're probably wondering, Zero Rider, you finished the main story in your last part, part 7, which was a freaking half hour long. And I say to you, no, because if you watched all the way to the end, you will learn that we are doing a red ring run of every level in this game. Starting with Act 1 of Tropical Resort. Logically, this is the first level. Yeah, it's Matt. And in each part, we're going to be covering one world fully with all its red rings. And we're starting in Tropical Resort because, if you haven't guessed, it's the first level. Cool. And, uh... Okay, so the first red ring is up here. We showed this one off in our first run, and I'll just be running through the red rings as we go. But, um... <laughs> uh, half of this was, uh, done... Well, Sweet Mountain and Tropical Resort were both done when Dawson and I were still, like, uh... Well, we were still, yeah. he was still at my house. We were still recording from our, uh, f uh what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Our, f our last, last session. Video. Session, yes. And uh, that was when we recorded Aquarium Park, um, sw uh, no, not Sweet Mountain. Asteroid Coaster and Terminal Velocity. Slam. And we also recorded Red Rings of Tropical Resort and Sweet Mountain. And I just did the rest by myself. So, if we mess up at all, I'm gonna just be editing that out. And, uh, yeah. Second red ring is underground here. Make sure you follow this path of mine. And another thing that we'll be talking about when we're not talking about red rings is music. Because, like like we already said, we really like the music in Sonic Colors, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's very good music. And Okay, so right now, I, I think I brought this up before, but each, each stage in the Sonic Colors, each world, should I say, has uh, one main music track, but it's split into three separate mixes. There's an Act 1 mix, an Act 2 mix, and an Act 3 mix. Oh, by the way, for this red ring, you have to drill around all these bombs. Once you detonate all the bombs, the red ring will appear in the middle of the ground, and I think I'm trying to explain this to Dawson, or he's trying to explain it to me, and we're hesitating because we have no clue what to do. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, right now we're listening to Drill. And we're going to go backwards and get the red ring we missed, but... Right now, this uh, music Winter. track is Tropical Resort Act 1, and maybe I'd better explain it, I'd explain it better the second time it plays, but, which is going to be in Act 4, because <coughs> they just loop after you pass, you do Act 1 has Act 1 music, Act 2 has Act 2 music, Act 3 has Act 3 music, then Act 4 has Act 1, and the process starts over. So, um, Act 1 has, uh, oh, hold on a second, ready? Good! Great! Awesome! Outstanding! Amazing! amazing! Right. And the last red ring's over here. But uh, Tropical Resort Act 1 music, it's got really, uh, the guitar in the beginning has a pretty bassy feel. And it, it's, it, sounds, it sounds pretty cool. Oh, we got oh! the right there. Oh! And the level's over, so I'll, never mind. Forget what I was going to say. I'll just explain it next time. I'll explain it when we get to Act 4, which will be the next place over here, Tropical Resort Act 1. And I'm, I'm not going to be showing every goal screen off. I'm going to be cutting those out, but I just wanted to show this one since it's our first time. And do I get the extra life this time? Yes, I do. I, I, I don't think I get many troll-facing extra lives in this part. Those and now we're showing a cutscene where that little metal Sonic head up there is important, and that just did something, but it didn't show the whole cutscene, because for some reason the raw footage got deleted. But I'll edit it in next time, don't worry. And here, I'll stay quiet for a second, because here, if you notice, the music just kind of skipped over itself there. That was me restarting the level multiple times and editing out the failures. So if you ever hear the music skip in the first two worlds, that was just us editing out our failures. Anyway, first red ring. <coughs> Pretty easy. Dawson, you have anything to say? You haven't been doing anything. Nope. No. <laughs> I, to I said it was going to be me doing most of the talking earlier. You just got that goldfish there, so you don't have to talk at all. Anyway, uh, Tropical Resort Act 2 Ooh, was has... This was you playing, and I was telling you where to get the red rings. And we already showed this one off. But even if the ones that even the ones that we showed off, we're gonna go back and get just for the sake of completeness, you know. So Act Two music has more of a synthesizer going on in the beginning, but the guitar is mostly the same. So I think overall, though, Act Two is my second favorite Tropical Resort. First one being my favorite, third one being my least favorite. Uh, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. I've, I've got more things to say about the other music tracks, but Tropical Resort really doesn't interest me too much as a level or as a music piece, so... I'm sorry, I know a lot of people like Tropical Resort, and I do to a point, but it's a... It's, a, it's, it's your least favorite level. Cause, only because it's a simple first level. As far as having, like, hateable levels, I don't really think it has any. Like, Planet Wisp has hateable levels, Aquarium Park has hateable levels, but... Oh, yes. As far as this one goes, it's, it's just a simple first tutorial world, and that's why I'm not too big on it. Now we have to destroy these um, alien rock babies. 
dumb babies. And, uh, yeah, then we get a red ring for doing that. Tropical Resort has a lot, of, and you went into the Failure. bottom of the spikes. That was you, Dawson. That I was know. you playing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I don't I don't get it. A lot of these red rings in Tropical Resort involve drill. So, <laughs> if, if you're not prepared for mass amounts of din din din. Oh, we didn't do din 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 last time. What do you mean? Well, we did. We, we, uh, yeah, we did. No, we Don't, just missed it. No, we, just because we actually need to talk about the oh, red rings until no we've slam. explained them enough. No slam. Yeah, I didn't get a slam because I missed like two, but I really didn't care at this point because I got the red ring here at the end. And if you homing attack the capsule from behind, you get this really weird ass camera angle. Like, look at that. It just flips around him and then you just kind of. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Moving on to Act 3, which contains laser and drill, as most acts in Tropical Resort do. Um. Hold on. Is this Act 1's music we're listening to in Act 3? <gasps> what? Hacks! Um, did you do that? No, I did not I did not do that. What, what do you mean? The, the music? Did you edit that in? I didn't edit the music in. You still got the gameplay sound and everything, too. What? So, okay then. Never mind. I was going to bring that up uh, in Starlight Carnival because uh, Act 4 uses Act 1. Uh, no. Act 2's music instead of Act 1's. But I guess Tropical Resort does it, too. So we're not going to get to hear Act 3 yet. <laughs> Good. Great. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we have all the wisps now, so we can reference them all we want. I'm just holding on to this laser, because there's nothing to do. The red rings in this stage so far have been pretty self-explanatory. I don't remember all the red rings in Tropical Resort that well, although there's a pulley over here, which you can homing attack onto and use laser right there. You'll shoot all the way into that prism. You'll go, uh, you'll go up there, then you just laser right away. <laughs> Hit that ramp. Hit the ramp, Dawson. Okay, there you go. Hit it, hit it again, Dawson. <laughs> Man, we, we were really hesitating a lot during this because we were watching the guide as we were recording. Yeah. Which, since we're not doing this live, that's the reason why. Because you can't watch the guide and record from my iPod at the same time. Because if you know me, I, you know I, I don't have a, a headset mic or anything, so I can't multitask. Oh, and this puzzle... Dawson, provide some background music while I explain this puzzle. Just just keep using drill one. Yeah, like that. Alright, this one, this one's bullcrap, because you've got to do so much, but they don't really give you any indication unless you go the right way. Now they're showing you, uh, they're showing you rings, like, a narrow of rings down where you need to go. And those pipes can actually catch you and send you back to the beginning, but luckily I got through the narrow space. And then you have to go into this really specific other set of pipes, which is equally annoying, so this is one of my less favorite red ring levels, you know? But then once you finally get this red ring here, I think you can exit out of the underground. Yes, you can. All right, and I don't, I'm just drilling to extend my drill time. But now we're finally done. Wait, that was Dawson playing, so he was yeah. one who wanted to go din 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 <laughs> as much as possible. I knew you were plotting something the entire time you were going for those red rings. On the din dins ah! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we just got some more white wisps. Come. What? Come. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <clears throat> And there are no more red rings here up until near the end of the level. And remember what I said before that I wanted to kill all these guys? I do. I kill all of them. Except for one. <laughs> no, don't worry. I get him the second time, though. See, I thought my like ridiculously long-range homing attack would have saved me there, but it didn't. And then a one-up will appear, which I promptly miss, <laughs> and just walk by without even caring. Never mind. I guess that was pointless after all, but at least you know. Now it's time Laser! to use some more lasers. No and slam. Be careful here. These platforms are a little small. Mind you, not as small as the ones at Planet Wisp, but oh. they are still pretty tiny. Oh! Good! Great! Awesome! Outstanding! Amazing! Ah, oh, that's so much fun. We still have to do that every time we get the trick wrap, right? Yes. Yes. Alright, so just keep following this upper path. And if you noticed, when we were playing this act the last time, there are actually two pathways to get to the goal ring. One is the bottom path, and this is the top path. So there are actually two goal rings in this stage, you see? There's the other one up here that we missed before. So uh, on our first playthrough, we got the bottom one, and now we get the uh, top one. And now we're going into Act 4 with Drill and Frenzy. And now see, this is playing, I believe, uh, the Act 2 music again, which completely broke up the pattern. I'm pretty sure this music is Act oh, 2. Oh, these things. Yeah, these enemies are really annoying. And Dawson got lucky with that red <laughs> ring on his first try, because when I tried to get that before, I kept, like, missing a really specific jump. Oh, and here he shows that... <laughs> The loops in this game are not scripted, you can go back through them. And we're just gonna go and drill through these guys. He's gonna okay, get blindsided. Yes, I know. But you can't die when you're in drill form, that's a good thing. You can't die when you're a wisp at all. And... 
frenzy. Nom 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 nom. Oh, see those red rings were so self-explanatory. We really didn't have to explain. If there's ever a section that gives you frenzy, just eat all the boxes you can, and you'll probably get a red ring from it. Maybe two, if you're lucky. And we just drilled straight down to get rings. And this is actually a relatively simple uh, red ring level. I mean, other than if you know where That's to drill, why I did it. it's not even hard to find out where you need to drill. Like he, when he knew where he needed to drill, he just <laughs> failed, and he just he just went down there immediately, and all the red rings were given for him. And you were lucky to dodge those spikes, by the way. No, not spikes, but you know, <laughs> just spikes. <laughs> and then for the last one, we already showed this one off. Go up there, jump backwards, just like Dawson. <laughs> He's gonna hack over this thing. He got the extra life, and he made a really nice jump over that last booster, so we finished that level in pretty good time. Act 5 involves spikes, and see, this is using Act 3's music, if you're listening closely. Why? They, they skip around in Tropical Resort. I wasn't aware of that before this recording, but they only did it once in Starlight Carnival and never in any of the other worlds. Without further ado, laser! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just, we just killed him. And unlike me, Dawson will not Laser, kill no! <laughs> yeah, part five. Shameless plug. <laughs> Slicer 224. <laughs> and he went down. Because we need spikes for this puzzle. We can't just laser our way through this one. We gotta use spikes and strategy. Sort of. Not really. But. Oh, and I'd also like to mention, I think this happened in uh, uh, Act 3 it was. There's a red ring. Use spikes for that. But. If we, if the music ever like randomly skips about in the middle of our gameplay, that's also because I was editing out a few pauses where we had to stop and consult the guide before we kept on going with what we were doing. And that happened in Act 3 because Mr. Oh, Slam, so that was you by the way. And uh, we, yeah, that, just, that basically just means we had no clue what we were doing because it was so like, uh, cryptic maybe? Cryptic castle? Oh, and this, 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 this is... here, you have to watch this. I'm putting this in slow motion for you. Because you just... Oh my you, god, you, you, this was so dumb. You need to watch this. The, look at that laser line. It says Dawson's gonna go up, alright? Look. No. He, no, he's yeah, still watch, going look. up. It says he's going look. up, but watch this. He goes down what? instead. He had no clue what oh happened. Oh my god. And, he die. and at this point, we were just like, mm, crush for him. <laughs> so, that's what happened there. Now, we're gonna cut back 20 succeeds, which I think is his third attempt, actually. No, because it happened twice. And he almost did it again there, but luckily the game decided to, you know, you know, glitch in his favor that time. But, not before. Anyway, just, uh, don't use laser there, it's a waste. And come back down, stomp through, get the red ring. Then when you come back up, I'm gonna show you truly how amazing I am at Sonic Colors by pulling a move that requires the most skill ever. Ever. You just have to watch this. It's crazy. Did you do slow motion? No. Cardinal! I tried to double jump, but instead he homing attacks to a balloon. So I pull the most badass oh, laser yeah. ever. I shoot through, grab the red <laughs> ring, get up into the light circuit, grab the final red ring, and touch the goal ring. Yeah. And that was me playing right there. That was the only part of Tropical Resort I played, just because Dawson didn't think he could do it. Alright, Act 6. Which... Wait, is this Act 2's music again? I have yes, no, it is. I have no clue. Did they only do Act 1 once? Act 3 once, I think. I, I don't know. I'm going to go back and listen. If someone can tell me about Tropical Resort... I think Resort, they did second tw three times. I think so. Because, you know, if someone can tell me about Tropical Resort, please do, because I have no clue what anything in this level is, is because I, I really don't play it much. It is my least favorite world in the game, only because it's so easy. Other than that, I'd probably like it. Like, the level design, I like this level a lot. This is my favorite Tropical Resort level, because I like trying to speedrun it. I have beaten this level in, like, 14 seconds before, with spikes. Not not. Just spikes. I just need spikes. Spikes! I, I could probably do better without spikes, but whatever. I get more color bonus. And the red rings in this stage are so easy, we didn't even need a guide. I know this one by heart, so I just told Dawson where it was. Now use your spikes! No. No, we need some drill. One in it, 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 one in it. And Dawson's just wasting his spikes, spin dashing. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, well, at least he got the one up. And he can just homing attack off the robot, go up and grab the red ring. It's not hard. This is an easy level. And he gets <laughs> homing attack. God. That happens to that happens to me and him more than once, like in Ugh. this entire playthrough thing here. So And now for the final red ring, it's, it's really not city. difficult to get no, not Crisis City. That's not in this game. No, it's about? like Crisis City. What's Crisis City? This what? this what? was Don't... this was after. Yes. Yes it was. Now just stop talking before you hit that goal ring. 
You almost hit the goal, and you're just sitting there bouncing. Anyway, grab this red ring there. It's not hard. This level's easy for that kind of stuff. And then you just go up, you spin dash up to the goal ring. You're done. Yeah. And that's actually, that's Tropical Resort for you. Those are all the red rings in Tropical Resort. And as you can see, it took 15 minutes completely unprepared for. That was completely, almost completely improv besides the guide, and we still destroyed Tropical Resort. Yeah. This is why I really don't like it that much. It's too short, too simple. But it doesn't matter. It's still a fun level. It's a good opening level. And now, uh, this time you get to see the full Game Land cutscene where more red rings get fed into the giant metal Sonic head. And Come. we're done. So we'll see you next time.